Okay. So, thanks for the for the presentation and uh, welcome to everyone to this uh, demo session. My short pitch is about one of the main uh, technological innovations we are developing in Resolve Project, which is a hybrid energy storage solution, or as we call it, power electronics device, so PED. This uh, PED, this uh, power electronics device, is uh, developed by one of the main partners of the uh, Resolve Project, which is uh, the research group Ithea UPC. We are a research group in the Technical University of Catalonia in Barcelona, and we are about 60 people working for more than 20 years uh, in projects uh, quite related uh, to the industry, in which we are developing uh, mainly power electronic solutions uh, to different application fields. Application fields like uh, industrial environments or uh, renewables, industrial communications, uh, smart grids, and energy storage. So what are the main problems tackled, tackled now uh, with our PED, with our uh, hybrid energy storage solution? One of the main problems is that energy storage, as you know, is a must for uh, actually reaching high penetration rates of renewables in energy grids. And these storages should provide at the same time a variety of power and energy related services. Such stretches that can uh, have a very good performance uh, are expensive and there is an, an important environmental impact associated with them. Uh, and actually in the market there are different types of batteries. We can have lithium ion batteries, uh, lead acid batteries, vanadium based, whatever. But each of the battery types we can have in the market is best suited for providing either power or either energy services. So there is no a unique optimal battery type in the market for everything. So how does our hybrid solution, our PV, mitigate these problems? We try to mitigate these problems by adopting the concept of hybridization. So we are developing a hybrid solution that it's able to perform, to provide actually and effectively uh, power and energy services to a variety of end users in energy grids. And through the concept of hybridization, we try to develop storage solutions with reduced capacity costs. And tackling the environmental issue, we try to exploit optimally and synergistically each of the battery types we have in our hybrid solution so we can extend as much as possible the lifespan of the batteries. Here we have how the PED looks like. The PED is a power electronics cabinet and in this cabinet, there are different power converters interconnected through an innovative architecture. There is an AC port to connect the solution to a low voltage AC grid. And then there are different DC ports. And in each of the DC ports, we can connect a different type of battery uh, rated at different voltage. For instance, we can have a DC port at which we can connect a lead acid battery and another DC port in which we can connect either a brand new or a second life lithium ion battery. Modularity and scalability are uh, key concepts for uh, this power electronics cabinet and on the top of this power electronics there is a set of algorithms that tries to uh, exploit optimally and synergistically each of the battery types we have embedded in. So what is the uh, main competitive advantage, such uh, unfair advantage of the PED over other state-of-the-art uh, storages we can have in the market? The competitive advantage is actually the logic. Uh, these uh, algorithms that uh, 
operate each of the power converters inside the cabinet. So each of the batteries can be charged and discharged optimally and synergistically to provide the best technical and uh, economic uh, performance. So Resolve was a perfect opportunity for us to go from the idea to the first prototype. So we increased the tier level of the technology and we uh, contribute with a new product, uh, added value product that uh, uh, offers a reduced uh, storage uh, cycle costs. Through further uh, development and industrialization, we try to uh, increase further the tier level and reach uh, such a challenging uh, uh, storage uh, cycle costs uh, of uh, 10 cents of kilowatt cycle, uh, which is somewhat uh, pursued at European level for storages. Right now, uh, the PED is a cost effective uh, solution uh, for uh, instance for distributors while evaluating uh, reinforcement needs of their grids. So that's all from my side in this short uh, pitch. And then now we can see a short video in which we are showing how the PD is providing services to a distributor in uh, electrical networks. Uh, Francesco, we will not be able to hear the, I think, the sound of the video. So you can take people through the video yourself, maybe. That would be also possible. Sorry, you cannot hear no, the video? We, we cannot hear the sound of the video. Uh, ah. it, it's from the Zoom platform. Either you can choose the option of uh, 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 from your setting, uh, or you can just take, you can play the video and explain yourself the, the video parts that would be easy for everyone to follow. Okay. Sorry. Okay, so then I can show, I can explain a bit uh, uh, what is happening here in this video. Uh, the video will be uploaded uh, on media afterwards. Well, here we have a neighborhood that is uh, a connection to the grid and then uh, uh, it is at night, so there are the, these people is consuming power from the electrical network. The day starts, and there is a sunny day. So the PV uh, panels uh, and renewables in this neighborhood are starting to generate power, and then this power cannot be uh, self-consumed, but should be injected to the main grid. This situation can uh, cause stress to the distributor, right? Uh, because uh, distribution systems are uh, designed to actually, uh, the power flow uh, should go from the generation point to the consumers and not in the reverse way. So this can provoke uh, some uh, issues uh, for distribution systems, for transformers overloading, over voltages uh, and damage electrical appliances. So these CEOs uh, should uh, think about how to solve this problem. And one option is to upgrade the transformer, reinforce uh, grids, or maybe another solution is to uh, create a local energy community for this uh, neighborhood. Consumers go home at night, and then it starts to consume again power. And it may be some problems related to power quality, some flicker, uh, so problems related to the quality of the voltage and current waveforms. 
more overloading in the transformer because we are all at home consuming. So again, problems related to uh, overloading of the grids and poor quality. Problems also related to the security of supply for these people, because uh, if we are considering a rural area, some blackouts can happen. And then these people is not uh, uh, are not fitted uh, with the electricity till uh, the DSO is able to repair uh, this eventuality. And the grid is finally restored. So a lot of problems, uh, different problems, and a solution can be uh, reinforce this grid or include this PED this power electronics device at the point of connection of uh, this neighborhood to the grid. Here we have the cabinet, here we have the, the batteries. Uh, in this project there is a lithium ion battery and a lead acid battery. And we can see now how the, the network uh, works with this PD. Again, it's at night, uh, we are all at home, we are consuming power and the day starts. They start and the PV panels uh, of this neighborhood uh, starts uh, producing electricity. There is a bidirectional power flow between the, the houses and then now between the houses and the PED. So the PED is actually storing such excess, excess of generation from uh, the houses when people is not at home consuming it. We have created a local energy community. Doing that, we are ensuring an optimal operation of the grid, uh, avoiding possible over voltages and transformers uh, saturation. We are saving this energy, energy uh, storing it in the batteries and not uh, injecting it to the main grid. People uh, come uh, home again and then it, it starts to uh, consume power. But then uh, this power is coming from the, the grid, but also from the battery. So people is taking advantage of this uh, power generated during the day that uh, was not consuming, consumed at that time. The PED is also monitoring and correcting uh, power quality issues such as uh, over voltages, uh, current harmonics, uh, unbalances among the three phases of the grid, ensuring uh, uh, optimal operation from the technical perspective of this system. And a storm again. blackout, so a problem with the main grid, but now our battery is uh, taking care of these people, uh, feeding with power these people, and uh, the PD is actually operated as a voltage source, so in a, in a island. So this was the PD, a hybrid storage solution for the decarbonization of the energy. Thank Thanks you very much. Attention. Thank you. Thank you very much, Francesco. And uh, before uh, you go away, we would like to take a few questions and bring our expert panel that we have here today as well. Uh, and uh, I, if I can start with Monse, uh, I hope you are there and you can hear us and you hear to this interesting presentation. Uh, and uh, I would like to just bring into your, uh, in, in your company's profile, how do you see uh, this kind of technology and trend for the low voltage grid? can help a business like KMO Energy to, to, to work together and create some uh, possible business. So do you have anything, any questions for Francesco here? Um, yeah, so thanks Francesco for your presentation. I think it was very interesting. 
at Kilometer Zero Energy, um, one thing that we are working on um, within the Spanish context is um, the potential development of local energy markets. So markets that can help you know, the, um, distributors um, manage situations like the one that you explained. And of course, batteries are a great you know, source to, to solve these issues. So maybe my question is more <laughs> related to kind of the, the go-to market for the solution that you're developing. Um, have you thought about who would your like clients be? Would you go with the uh, developers of of um, distributed mm -hmm. energy resources or with uh, directly with the battery manufacturers? Have you thought a bit about that? Yes, uh, thanks for your question. As a research group, uh, our goal is to is to work in collaboration with uh, uh, storage developers. Uh, uh, so help these companies to to actually uh, bring this to the market. Um, we can uh, sell uh, the intellectual property of these to to developers, uh, or uh, we can even uh, try to uh, to develop a new business, uh, uh, creating some uh, new companies uh, from the university, uh, some spin-offs. Uh, like the one we have in the research group. So our goal is to help uh, uh, existing uh, companies that are interested in this technology and bring this, com this technology to the market or uh, help uh, new people from the university to create uh, spin-offs, uh, new businesses uh, uh, around this technology. Thank you. Thank you, Francesco, for a very good answer. And thank you for Monse for a very interesting question. I think many of the people in the audience would also had a similar questions on their mind. And uh, before uh, I, I take some questions from the, uh, from the attendees, I would like to go to Santi. Uh, hi, Santi. I hope you are there. Uh, uh, and uh, if you have any questions for Francesco, uh, I don't know uh, if you think uh, this could be something that uh, uh, could be interesting for upcoming uh, more innovations in the European electricity grid. Hi, thank you and congratulations. Uh, yeah, Francisco, uh, which, which is the, 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 the state of the art in uh, power electronic devices? So the, the device that you have been developing is a step ahead or it, uh, it's on the state of the art, I mean, in, in the last developments uh, concerning power electronics? Yes, uh, this technology advances over state of the art in different uh, in different aspects. Uh, one of the main aspects is that uh, uh, there are uh, two types of co power converters inside this cabinet. Uh, one type is uh, power inverters, so AC DC, and then there are uh, DC DC converters. So uh, these converters that uh, actually integrates uh, batteries into the cabinet. Uh, these DC-DC converters uh, relay on uh, an innovative architecture which is called uh, double active uh, converters. Uh, this architecture is actually a three uh, steps uh, power converter. There is a DC-AC power conversion step. Then there is a uh, high frequency transformer in the middle, and then there is an AC DC converter. The thing of integrating a high frequency transformer in this converter is quite uh, is the main advantage of everything because this high frequency transformer is very small, so we can actually integrate. Uh, a battery using this converter uh, in a very reduced uh, volume uh, for the power electronics. I mean, you, uh, you can include this transformer inside the converter and you don't have to include a 50 Hertz transformer at the point of connection of the cabinet. Uh, and then we are uh, saving uh, volume. We are reducing uh, the volume of everything. This is one of the main innovations. Another innovation is that uh, we are using um, 
we are not using silicon carbide uh, transistors. Uh, I mean, we are using silicon carbide transistors, and then we can uh, increase the, the efficiency, the switching efficiency of the. And, and I'm sorry to interrupt Francesco, but thank you very much for a very interesting uh, discussion here. And if you can always contact Francesco. Uh